that intro right there never gets old. That has to be the last golden age of Nickelodeon. So, welcome to my second rant of the day. If you read the title of my video, then you come to the right place. Sunday, January 11th, 2004. Drake and Josh made his debut on Nickelodeon. 15 years of Drake and Josh. The idea of for Drake Bell and Josh Peck to have their own TV show came from the idea came from the creator Dan Schneider, who we all know who's famous for creating live action Nickelodeon shows such as All That, The Amanda Show, which will be 20 years old in October. Drake and Josh, Zoe 101, iCarly, Victorious, etc. So y'all know Drake Bell and Josh Peck were on The Amanda Show from 1999 until his cancellation in 2002. Then Dan Schneider decided to come up with the idea to let Drake Bell and Josh Peck have their own TV show, Drake and Josh. Also, Nancy Sullivan who was also on The Amanda Show, was on Drake and Josh. So the series follows stepbrothers Drake Parker and Josh Nichols, played by Drake Bell and Josh Peck, as they live together despite having opposite, opposite personalities. The show also stars Nancy Sullivan as Andre Parker, Andre Parker, Jonathan Goldstein played Walter Nichols and Miranda Cosgrove played Megan Parker. Miranda Cosgrove went on to star in her own television show, iCarly, after Drake and Josh ended in 2007. The show ran for four seasons from January 11, 2004 to September 16, 2007 and had three TV movies, Drake and Josh Go Hollywood, Really Big Shrimp, and Merry Christmas, Drake and Josh. So, looking back on Drake and Josh 15 years later, it is definitely one of the most underrated sitcoms of all time. Drake and Josh was funnier than a motherfucker. Drake Bell and Josh Peck were acting a fool fools on Nickelodeon. This show pretty much reminds me of the white version of Kenan and Kel. Drake and Josh is fucking hilarious. I can't believe it's been 15 years since this show premiered on Nickelodeon. This is one of the last good sitcoms that we had on Nickelodeon. If I had to pick a favorite episode of Drake and Josh, it has to be the first episode of season two, The Bet. It's an episode where Drake is addicted to junk food and Josh is addicted to video games. They were supposed to pick up Megan from a friend's house, but Megan ends up being all wet because it was raining. So, Josh bet that Drake can... Josh bet that he can give up video games more than Drake can give up junk food. So they decided to have a bet. Josh can't play video games while Drake can't eat any junk food. And if one of them loses, one of them has to dye their hair pink. That reminds me of that episode of Keenan and Kel, Who Loves Orange Soda, where Kel bet that Keenan that he can go one week without drinking orange soda. And if one of them loses, one of them has to stand on the counter at Rigby's during the daytime singing the national anthem in front of all the Rigby's customers wearing nothing but a ladies' nightgown. That was funny as hell. This episode of Drake and Josh inspires that episode of Keenan and Kel. Um, let's see. Another one of my favorite episodes of Drake and Josh. Um... Season 2, Episode 2, Guitar. 
That's the one where Drake uses his classmates to win tickets to his favorite band's concert, Zero Gravity, from a radio contest. Not only Drake won the tickets, but he also won a cherry red 1964 Fender Castro Gaster guitar signed by the lead guitarist Devin Malone. So Josh accidentally messes up the guitar and he has to spend $1,200 to buy Drake a new one. What's another one of my favorite episodes? Season 1, episode 4, Two Idiots and a Baby. That's where Josh offers that he and Drake will babysit uh, Josh's dad's boss, Baby. After the two struggle to get the baby's diaper changed and put it to sleep, Drake leaves to play at a concert, but Josh panics when the baby disappears and ends up being stuck on the roof looking for it. However, underlying loyalty compels Drake to return to help Josh find the baby just before Walter and his boss return. Also like the Doom Buggy episode where Drake and Josh are excited to receive a Doom Buggy from Trevor only to find it find that it was broken down and Josh is grounded for lying after Drake convinced him to after the doom buggy was fully repaired Audrey and Walter forbid Drake and Josh from driving it but Drake ends up driving it and ends up in a doom buggy accident And Drake ends up injuring his shoulder. And the doctor said that he should stay in bed and rest for a couple weeks. So Audrey and Walter grounded Drake. And that episode was just too funny. Seasons 1 and 2 has to be my two favorite seasons of Drake and Josh. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about this rant. This wraps up my rant celebrating 15 years of Drake and Josh premiering on Nickelodeon. Also, the TV movie Merry Christmas Drake and Josh featured late MMA fighter Kimbo Slice, rest in peace. And also, the movie hit 9.10 million viewers. Wow. But that's pretty much all I got to say. Let me know in the comments below. Can you believe that it's been 15 years since Drake and Josh premiered on Nickelodeon? And also, what were your favorite episodes of the show? Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for any video that I upload. And I will catch you on the next one. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Happy 15th anniversary to Drake and Josh premiering on Nickelodeon.